Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Valerie and my disciplines are music and drama. And right now I'm going to show you how I do imaginary travel with the children. When I do experiences and I take them places like China or South America to the rainforest, I always like to include imaginary travel because if you're going somewhere, you might as well be traveling there and the children get the feeling that this experience is real. You're trying to make it as real as possible for them while they play. So, imaginary travel is one of my main focuses and one of my most fun things to do. So, I imaginary travel with them in different ways. Sometimes we travel on horseback. This is a cheater spoon a different kind of cheater spoon. They're both cheater spoons. You can get them at uh, music stores that sell percussion instruments. And suddenly you're on a horse. Okay. And through the magic of sound, you're on two horses. Or it just, just gives the children the feeling that they're also galloping with you. What's nice about these cheater spoons, of course, is that you can hold the reins with one hand while you gallop around the room. You don't want to do that too long because it can hurt after a while. But these are cheater spoons and they're lots of fun to travel on horses with. Another way to travel, one of my most favorite ways to travel, is on a helicopter. It's a little loud. This is called a racket. Rackets can be found at party stores. And you can have one helicopter with the children behind you. Or they could all be on their own helicopters moving the propeller like this as you circle the room and then land so that you can have your experience. And this is one of my favorite, this, I, this is my favorite travel sound. This is called a kibasa. immediately that you're going to travel on a train and they get very excited and of course they can't travel without their tickets you reach in and you pull out your ticket so that they know they need a ticket and then they give you their tickets and they stand behind you in a single file line and then you have each of them put their hands on the shoulders of the person in front of them and you chug around the room now since you're the engine they need to hold on to you too whoever's behind you should hold on to your shirt or uh, if you're wearing a belt, hold on to the belt, something in the back so that they don't stray. And of course, you want to chug them around the room in a way that makes them feel like they're on a train. So you're going under a tunnel, you're going over some broken tracks, perhaps, and you can use the kibasa the whole time, or you can just go chug, chug, chug once the uh, uh, element of the train has been established. This is a little kibasa. This is for a train that only has a couple of cars. And it's a lot less expensive than the big kibasa. But if you don't want to use a kibasa, you can just take a, a box, uh, an empty box, and put some lentils in it or any kind of beans and shake the box. <laughs> Be sure to tape the box up good before you shake it. And then you will get the same idea, the same sound as the kibasa gives you. So those are some of my travel sounds. Now, uh, the travel sound, once you've gone to where you're going, uh, bringing them home, I always like to do it very quickly. So I use a magic carpet. And thanks to some cartoons that I've seen lately, the children know what a magic carpet is. They know that it can sail. And this is a picture of a little boy sitting on the magic carpet with his hands down and his eyes closed. The idea of this activity is um, he's going to have this experience wherever we're going, so he needs to get there on the carpet, and he needs to see the carpet in his mind. So he closes his eyes, all right? Having them close their eyes is very difficult sometimes, so if they can't close their eyes, don't worry about it. Sooner or later, they will. And then talk to them about their carpets. Is your carpet, uh, have, does it have a pattern? Is your carpet a special color? And when you have your hands on the carpet, then you are ready to travel, but you need to close your eyes so you can see yourself in your mind 
traveling through the sky, and then you talk them through it using my magic carpet sound. This magic carpet sound is called a five-tone melody pipe. And while you're in the air, you're seeing clouds and birds flying by. And now we're coming back from China. Oh, and there's the Atlantic Ocean. It's kind of rough today. Oh, and there's your school. And the window's opening up, and we're going to float right down onto the carpet. Everybody say, bump, bump. And we landed, OK? Um, they have these at party stores sometimes. And um, you can also find these on the internet. The important thing to remember is that you're searching for their imaginations in this activity. And this is an experience that gives them a chance to do abstract thinking, gives them a chance to, in their mind, see an image that will take them somewhere and bring them back. You can also fly to wherever you're going using a magic carpet. You don't need to just fly home on the magic carpet. And uh, these are some of my favorite travel sounds. <laughs>